So how do we treat it? Well, uh, a lot of medications are given in milligrams per kilogram. Uh, so you need to know how to convert from pounds into kilograms. And in the United States, since we typically weigh people in pounds, uh, you just take the weight in pounds and divide by 2.2, and that will give you the weight in kilograms. Uh, so you're going to need to know how to do that to calculate the doses for kids. For adults, it's a lot more straightforward. The main treatment in strep throat is penicillin VK. Very cheap uh, uh, antibiotic, very good one. And you take 500 milligrams three times a day. So that's the adult dose on the kids. This is where you have to do the math. <clears throat> and it's very important to get the math correct in kids. Uh, so if you're unsure uh, and you have to do this, please have somebody check your math. Uh, but in kids, you can give 8 to 16 milligrams per kilogram. And so you take that amount and you can give it three times per day. Erythromycin is very similar. It's 500 milligrams for the adults given twice a day. And for the kids, again, it's 8 to 16 milligrams per kilogram three times a day. Penicillin is our main treatment. If you're allergic to penicillin, then you can give erythromycin. Uh, if you have difficulty, there's a couple other antibiotics you can give. Uh, again, penicillin is probably our best choice. Uh, cephalexin, which is a cephalosporin. Uh, the treatment for adults is 500 milligrams three times daily. <clears throat> and for the kids, 6 to 12 milligrams per kilogram four times a day. And again, just to remind you, you take the weight in pounds, you divide by 2.2, and that gives you the weight in kilograms. Finally, there's a, a drug in the tetracycline family, doxycycline. This is 100 milligrams that you can take just once a day. And for kids, it's 2.2 milligrams per kilogram once a day. <coughs> You can also treat the pain <clears throat> and fever with uh, acetaminophen, which is also Tylenol, or ibuprofen, which is uh, Advil or Motrin. Uh, in adults, you can go anywhere between 500 and 1,000 milligrams taken every four hours. This is a very safe drug. Uh, in the kids, 15 to 20 milligrams per kilogram every four hours. Uh, in my own kids, I typically go with the higher dose. That seems to be a lot more effective, so I go on the 20 milligram per kilogram dose. Ibuprofen, adults, somewhere between 200 and 400 milligrams uh, every six hours. Uh, <clears throat> prescription strength uh, ibuprofen is in the 600 to 800 range, but after about 400 milligrams, you can get more anti-inflammatory effect, but the uh, fever and pain effect kind of flattens out, so you probably don't need more than about 400 milligrams. In kids, it's 10 milligrams per kilogram, again, every six hours. If you're pregnant, you probably want to avoid ibuprofen because um, this can decrease the amount of amniotic fluid that's produced. So what are the complications with strep throat? Well, uh, it can progress from uh, just a normal strep throat into one of those abscess conditions, a peritonsal or retropharyngeal abscess. Again, not very common. Um, but important to know that that's a, a potential uh, side effect and that will typically need to be drained in an operating room. The big scare for strep throat is this one right here, the rheumatic heart disease. Um, this is not very common, uh, yeah, at least in the West anymore, uh, <clears throat> but in rare cases your own body's immune response will create antibodies that can damage the valves of the heart. If the valves of the heart get damaged, and the heart has to work too hard to get blood through a valve that's narrow or a valve that leaks. Uh, this can cause some enlargement of the heart and some strain on the heart. Um, and in really bad cases, it may require you to have a, a valve replacement surgery um, and in extreme cases, a heart transplant. Uh, another serious complication is <clears throat> this one, acute glomerulonephritis. Uh, this is also an immune response to uh, the inf uh, fighting the infection. So your body makes antibodies uh, to fight off the infection, and those antibodies then cross-react and damage parts of the kidney. Uh, unfortunately, taking antibiotics does not prevent this one uh, or decrease the chance that you could get this. Now, in mild cases, <clears throat> it's probably not too much of a big deal. 
but in uh, more severe cases, this can uh, damage the kidneys enough uh, that you can get kidney failure. Um, so anyways, that kind of gives you a, a very quick overview of strep throat. Uh, I think it's important to realize that if it's not strep throat or not a bacterial infection, then don't use antibiotics. Um, uh, and if it is uh, strep throat or highly likely uh, strep throat by Centaur criteria, it can be treated very simply with uh, penicillin. Um, <clears throat> one thing I didn't mention on the other slides is how long do you treat? And the typical treatment is somewhere in uh, the 7 to 10 day range. Uh, so for about a week uh, worth of antibiotics is what you need. All right. That's it for strep throat. Now, if you have any questions or comments, um, I'd love to hear it. You can email me at survivalmedicine at gmail.com. Uh, suggestions on other topics or things I could do better to be more helpful uh, would be greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye.